In this video, I will show you how to do the window pane test. You do the window pane test after you finish kneading to see if your dough is actually kneaded enough. Uh, I don't do it myself, I do something else, uh, but it seems like people uh, like it. However, I've seen a few uh, videos around, there are a few uh, things I disagree with. First of all, people uh, like to do the window pane test with a very small chunk of dough. It's not very easy to handle, so in my opinion there is no point. And uh, something that I think is actually a mistake, they start doing the test uh, straight away after they finish kneading, when the mm, dough is still mm, very stressed, the gluten is a little bit tight, so it's not easy to have truthful results. By the way, before I show you how I make myself the window pane test, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you will be the first one to know when I will uh, upload the new video here. Keep watching! Okay, let's try this uh, window pane test. Two, three minutes ago I finished uh, kneading my dough. I will uh, cut a good chunk there are some bubbles already. I'll cover this and I will start my test on this chunk. The point is, uh, using my finger, I need to stretch it and stretch it and stretch it as thin as possible to the point I will test it with a light to see if the light goes through the, the panel I'm building up here. So I stretch, I stretch. This point should be okay. I leave it here for one second. I take my light. My light is actually my phone, so I don't want to blind you. Bear with me one second. Okay, you see the light through the window pane. This means I built a nice gluten mesh. I can try and go, you see, this is pretty solid. Window pane test passed. 